All right, guys, Kazoo71 here on my Primal Fear server. Last time I showed you guys not to eat the uh, rainbow poop. And as one of the earlier episodes, I tamed this caustic parrot. And as you guys know, I could not find the saddle for it. So I want to show you guys, I finally figured out where it is. It's not called a saddle. It's called the Elemental Parrot Armor. And I'm going to blow this up so we can see it here. Elemental Parrot Armor. That's what you need to ride one of these parrots. Make that thing. You can put it on any of the parrots. And then we're going to go ahead and slap this on there. I already made it, so we're going to put this on there so you guys can see. We're going to ride this caustic parrot around. And as you can see, it goes in the armor spot, which is really weird. It's just, this is just strange. Some of the things that they did on here are kind of weird. But then we're going to go ahead and ride this parrot and see what it does. Now that we can fly it. Now the mods I'm using on this map are the Primal Fear mod, the Ebonus Astrium Superstructures. Dino Storage version 2, the awesome Spyglass. And the Death Inventory Keeper. Now here I'm just trying the buttons out. Just seeing what they do. Also seeing if I can get a picture of it. But it's kind of hard to do. Uh, they don't look really good like this. It's, uh, I was trying to get a picture for the image. But yeah. Sorry. It don't work that well. <laughs> it's just kind of. You got to get at the right angle with the light. And the lighting on this map is really horrible most of the time. So um, it just don't work that well. All right, enough with the pictures. Let's go fly. I'll try these attacks in and see what works. That's it. The mouse. I'm just trying the mouse button, right and left mouse button. So, um, like I told you guys in one of the other uh, other episodes, there is a C and an X. So sometimes it, it could be the C is a special attack. Sometimes it can be the X attack. You just got to figure out which one it is, and that's the one you want to use. Um, so we're gonna see what happens here. I'm gonna go to this little island where we we're building at first, and we're gonna blast some stuff around here and see what happens. Uh, let's see here. What can we do? Let's try to bite something. And we're just going to use the bite attacks too, just to see how much damage they do. And then we're going to try to figure out how to use the special attack. We'll, we'll figure it out, hopefully. I just need something to attack that's going to give me some kind of hit points. I want to do some little thing. I don't want to go too big, though. There's some dodos down here, it sounds like. Let's hit the dodo. Oh, look at that. I left a cloud of smoke on the ground. Uh, <laughs> so when i was attacking it it left this cloud of caustic smoke and then i passed through the caustic smoke and as you can see i got passed out so apparently you can pass yourself out with the caustic smoke from the parrots or probably the other stuff too you can probably hurt yourself too it doesn't make any sense because i didn't get off of this thing i stayed on it the whole time but i ran through the own my own cloud of caustic gas and knocked myself out so that's not very uh cool like when you're on the wyverns if you're using an electric wyvern the electric won't hurt you but on here apparently the caustic will hurt you so let's see what else happens here let's try again let's see here let's eat that thing a little delayed sound there it's kind of weird but uh let's see here what else can we do i'm just giving it all these levels here might as well i hadn't rode one yet and i just been sitting there breeding Getting eggs from them, stuff like that. That's all we're doing. There, I hit the ground that time, and it did the cloud again, and it hit me again. So, so all I'm doing is the left mouse there, and like the the left mouse attack, and it's leaving a cloud of caustic gas on the ground that can knock you out, which is really strange. It shouldn't do that, but it does. So, not like I would use this parrot on a normal basis because that is not very cool. I'm trying to pick it up, see if I can right mouse click. It didn't work. So, I don't even carry anything here. Look at that. This does that cloud and it hits me every time. And look, whoop, got me again. <laughs> yeah, these things are not cool to fly on because if you're going to keep knocking yourself out like this, it's pointless because you would just die somewhere and your parrot would probably get killed. And oh my gosh, I can't believe that you can kill your, hit yourself with your own cloud of caustic gas. So there you go, guys. The parrot, um, as you can see, is really strange, and you can hurt yourself. Uh, yeah, we're going to whistle this guy to us, get back on him, and I think we're going to pretty much be done playing with this thing because I keep knocking myself out. It's not too dangerous here as long as one of them uh, big things don't spawn here. But um, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> so yeah don't use these guys these guys are not battle birds you might be able to fly these things around but yeah they're kind of pointless to me 
It looks cool, though, don't it? Yeah, it's a cool bird. Look at me flying this caustic parrot. Just don't attack nothing. You'll kill yourself. You'll knock yourself out. Yeah, these dumb parrots. Okay, anyway. I was really excited to fly it, too, when I first made that saddle. I was like, yeah, buddy, I got a saddle finally. Nope, not fun. Not fun at all. This is not a fun thing to fly on. There's my baby unicorn, by the way. I told you guys I was breeding them in the last episode. There's a baby one right there. So uh, they do breed, as you can see. And I'm going to pick that parrot up. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it. I'm not going to use it. I use this picture of this parrot I'm going to take right here in one of the other episodes when I tamed it, I think. But I'm not going to use it here. It's too much. you got to get all that stuff in there trying to edit that image. That takes a long time to edit one of them just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip forward here, guys. We're going to get out of the parrot issue, and we're going to do something else here. Now, I found a buffoon mesopithecus, the, the little monkey. And these are on the Primal Fear mod. So um, I was shooting and tranking it, and it's in the water. So I went back to my base to get some special kibble. And I'm just kind of flash forward here where I, I'm heading back to it because I didn't want to knock it out. Because you can knock out stuff in the water here and get in the water and tame it real quick. Because they tame so fast, they won't drown. Now, if it was a regular thing, you take so long to tame something, they drown before they eat the first kibble. But on this map, they eat them so quick, it's pretty cool. But there he is right there. You see, he's almost torqued because I was shooting him. And uh, he's in the water, so I didn't want to try this in the water and then have to go back to my base and get stuff because then he might actually drown because it would take me a while to get back. But we'll go ahead and knock him out here. Let's see what happens. There we go. We got him. He's swimming. And he is out. There we go. I only took one or two more shots. One more to hit him, actually. But I'm going to clean this ground off here. And we'll land here and swim. I'm going to have to get out here and get him, so... Fortunately, most of the time in this water on this Ebenezer Astrium, there's not much in the water, so it's it's not too dangerous here. So let's get down here and tame this thing. We're just going to swim out here. Some deep water here. But it's a river, so you don't have to worry about any of the megalodons or the primal megalodons or nothing. There's really nothing in here. Sometimes the baryonyx will spawn in here, and sometimes those spinos are in the area, but not right here. So we're good. Let's just throw this special kibble in there. Throw one of these tame helpers, get him to feed that, and then he should be tame. There we go, a buffoon mesopithecus. So we can get this guy back. I'm going to soul ball him. Now, if you're wondering what that... Oh, there's piranha here. Apparently, there is bad stuff here. I lied. Uh, if you're wondering what I was using... <laughs> look, at the, look at all the piranha. Okay. Um, that is the uh, Dino Storage version 2 mod, and that was a soul gun and a soul ball. These came out way before Wildcard decided to make the cryopods, so... I think they copied their cryopods off of uh, the Dino Storage 2 mod. So basically Pokeballs is what the Dino Storage version 2 is, which is my one of my favorite mods, that one in Superstructures. So let's go get back to my base here, and we're going to ride this thing. I'll show you guys what it does just a little bit. Um, it's not my favorite Dino in the Primal Fear mod yet. I'm telling you guys my favorite one is the uh, Demon Mesopithecus, which is... Coming in a later episode, I'll show you guys, but right now I just wanted to tame this guy since I saw it. My goal is to tame all the, the weird primal fear dinos, and we're going to do that. Let's get back to the base here. Now my base here is on Battle Island is where I built this at because uh, it's kind of safe, not too bad. But this uh, map, this even this Astrium, man, this thing overspawns way too much on primal fear. It's crazy. The map's not complete, and everything just kind of like, is this too, there's just too much. I'll just put it that way. Way too much. All right. Throw this old buffoon mesopithecus out. And there it is right there. It's got a clown mask on. That's what the buffoons are. Got so much stuff in here. Let's try to turn this off so I can get a picture of them. We'll probably use this as the image, but there is the buffoon mesopithecus. And we're going to go ride this thing. We're going to see what happens here. I'm just trying to get a better picture when it looks at me. It's creepy looking, huh? I don't know why. They just, yeah, they just made them creepy. Put that clown mask on them. So let's go run around here, Battle Island, for just a moment and see what this thing does. It's pretty fast. Yeah, I thought I'd try to get a picture out here, but it don't work, so. That's the bite, and that is the other mouse button. So it throws poop. It looks like it's throwing poop. That's what it looks like. A poop bomb. Yep, yep, yep. 
Demon Demon Mesopithecus is better, I'm telling you, you guys have seen a bit. But let's try this out. Let's see what happens here. Little poop bombs. Or clown bombs, whatever they are. I don't know. They don't do a ton of damage though. So I'm gonna have to bite this thing because I wasn't hitting them. Maybe if they hit the cloud there, it might do a little bit more damage, but it doesn't do too much damage. But there you go, guys. So flew my caustic parrot around a little bit and I knocked myself out twice. Tame this a buffoon mesopithecus. I think that's how you say it. People make fun of how I say things. I don't care. I mess them up. Who cares? You try to pronounce all these weird words. Oh, wait. Buffoon mesopithecus. There he is. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a very short episode. Not as short as the last one, but I'm getting back into making these back like I was. These little playthroughs. It's just that I, I was out for a couple of weeks with my mom in the hospital. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys enjoyed it, like I said, please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, I do have these playthrough videos, but also I have a bunch of how-to videos I do all quite often. So, um, But there you go. Just trying to angle him and get a good picture. Yeah, maybe we'll use that. We'll see. It's kind of bad because my armor's kind of dark. So it don't really work for a picture because the armor's too dark. But there you go, guys. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of a weird little dino slash monkey to tame, but there he is. And I'm breeding stuff in here. But, uh, yep, there you go, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks.